Hi guys, and welcome to my channel. Well, today I'm gonna to give you my thoughts on using the Insta360 X3 for over a year now, and how do I rate it still? I clearly, I do love it, but there is some things that I probably don't love about it, but let's get into it. All right, the Insta360 X3 is an absolutely amazing camera. It shoots in 5.7K, it takes 72 megapixel photos, which is absolutely unreal. And it is so easy to use. You simply just point it, turn it on and shoot, then reframe your footage later on, or even throw it into the Insta360 app and let the AI do everything for you. And there is so many features in the Shot Lab as well. You can do so many different transitions and tricks just by using the Shot Lab. Uh, it wasn't easy to learn to start with. I will admit that. It was not an easy camera to get used to. Um, I really had to do some research and figure out the easiest way for me to learn. Um, so that's why I thought, you know, I'm going to teach you guys how to do it the way that I know how to learn. And that is just so simple and basic. If I can do it, anyone can do it. I mean, literally the Insta360, once you get your head past that, it, it's a 360 degree camera. It is absolutely amazing. Do I wish it was a higher resolution than 5.7K? Maybe sometimes I do, but I rather the 360 degrees. I have used it going snorkeling with the Insta360 dive case. That was an absolutely amazing experience to do that. I have put it on a plane and gone flying in this tiny little two person stunt plane, I guess you'd call it. And the footage from that was ridiculous. Now. I couldn't, I had a GoPro on me as well on that day, but literally I was so glad that I had the Insta360 X3 with me and mounted it where I had it mounted to capture this absolutely unique perspective of in this stunt plane. It was an absolute dream come true for me to do that. And I have that memory now to look back on with my Insta360 X3 and I can re-edit that footage so many different ways as well because of the 360 degree shots that it takes. Now there's so many different shots that you can do on the Insta360 X3. Uh, the app, the AI in it is mind blowing. It is absolutely amazing. I just love the app. It is so easy to use compared to GoPro and DJI. You don't have to download the footage onto your phone. You use it straight out of your X3. With GoPro and DJI, you have to download that footage onto your phone. Insta360, any of their cameras, you don't have to do that. That is the biggest draw card for me that I'm not putting extra data on my phone just to chew up space that I don't need. You know, like Insta360 are just hands down the winners in the app. And even when it comes to the desktop studio, it is so much easier to use than GoPro's one and DJI don't even have one, I don't think. The tricks that you can do it, you know, the sky swaps, then you've got bullet time effect, you've got time lapse, you've got time warps, you've got stop motions, all these other different effects that are so easy to do. You literally just have to point and shoot and then put it into the app to be able to create these crazy, wonderful videos that the app does everything for you. That's the best part about Insta360. They are always innovating and giving us more and more and more. They update their firmware so many times to give us more stuff. If it's bugging out, they're trying to fix that as soon as they can. Insta360 just are doing a phenomenal job at looking after us after we have purchased this camera. You don't get as much as Insta360 gives us with GoPro or DJI. I've got all the new cameras. I've got the GoPro Hero 12. I've got the Action 4. I've got the Pocket 3, which this is recorded on. But the Insta360 X3 is my camera that I take absolutely everywhere with me. I just love it. If I don't know what I want to shoot or how I want to shoot it, I shoot it on the Insta360 X3 and then look at the footage later and go, wow, that shot looked crazy cool. I was so glad that I shot it on the Insta360 X3 because I wouldn't have been able to reframe it and get that footage. With GoPro and DJI action cameras, you literally, they're a point and shoot camera. You don't, you, where you point it is what you get. And they do a great job at that too. But Insta360, because it's the 360 degree camera, just makes your life more interesting and makes your videos so much more interesting as well. The flow state stabilization is phenomenal on this. I have tested this out 
so many times on dirt bikes, motocross tracks, trails, everything like that. I've compared them, all the major action cameras together and the stabilization on the X3 always wins no matter what. It is unbelievable. Nothing can beat it. GoPro does a really good job. DJI does a really good job, but the flow state stabilization on the Insta360 X3 is just amazing and I love it. You know, every time I go out dirt bike riding, every time I go camping, I'm always bringing the X3 with me to do that because it's just the most versatile camera that I have ever used. The star lapses that you can capture with this camera, crazy. You know, you can do it in a very lit up light polluted area and you're still gonna get a good star lapse. Then you take it out where there's hardly any light pollution and you get the most amazing star lapses that I have ever seen. You know, it is probably my favorite feature on the Insta360 X3 camera, just because you can just reframe it so many different ways to get these star lapses and they just look absolutely crazy. Okay, with the battery life, I've never had a problem with the battery life because I treat it like an action camera. I don't treat it like a, a vlogging camera or my big Canon camera where I'm just running it all the time. I treat it like an action camera. I take the shots that I wanna do, I record for you know two to five minutes and then I stop. The X3, I won't have to charge it for days. I'm only shooting three to five minutes at a time. So that battery is gonna last me all day. Uh, and when I do star lapses, I connect it to an external power. So then I can get those eight hour long star lapses. You know, I've never had it overheat and I've had it in direct sunlight for a long time on the, on the bike, in the car, doing time lapses in the car, you know, and that's the worst for an action camera or any camera to heat up is the sun coming through the windshield hitting it up straight away. It has never failed me whatsoever. Compared to GoPro, where GoPro I've always had fail, it heats up horrendously, and we all know what the battery life is on GoPro, so it's no use going getting into that. But the Insta360 X3 is an amazing camera. They always have great deals going on, so if you click the link below, you're gonna pick yourself up a great deal, and you even get a free gift with that link as well because it does help out this channel and supports me so thank you very much for that if you need an action camera that you just want to point and shoot and capture absolutely every bit of that moment then the insta360 x3 is the one for you it is going to be your most favorite camera just because of the versatility and what you can do with it you know i have shot nighttime shoots with it I have done amazing time lapses. The photos, the 72 megapixel photo is amazing and that you can connect an external microphone to it. Just, it's an all round action camera. You know, it can do everything. You know, you've even got single lens mode which shoots in 4K. You know, you've got log formats, you've got HDR formats, you've got so many different things you can do with this camera. You know, I was trying to think earlier, is there something that I hate about it? or I don't like about it. And there's probably nothing really that I don't, I don't not like about it or that annoys me about it because it's, it's great. It's for everything that I love to do, it's near perfect. You know, do I wish it had better resolution, higher resolution? Yes. Yeah, I would love to because once you reframe that 360 footage, uh, you do lose some of that in that footage. Uh, but a lot of you guys are watching on YouTube, on your mobile phone, and you don't really notice that. Uh, but I notice it when I'm editing. So would I love to see it in a high resolution? Hell yeah, I would absolutely love to see Insta360 bring out one with a higher resolution. That would be amazing. But it's not the end of the world for me. You know, now that you can edit and you can export in 4K on your phone, if your phone's powerful enough to do it, you know, it's absolutely crazy that we can do that. So is there anything that I dislike about it? No, not really, not really. They have some amazing mounts. You know, you can get so many different style of mounts with it. They've got so many accessories, like it's ridiculous the amount of accessories that I have for this camera. Um, and aftermarket ones as well. There's so many companies making aftermarket accessories for the Insta360 cameras that it's 
you know, my house is just full of accessories for cameras, especially Insta 360s. That's my video on the Insta 360. Like I don't, you know, I've had it for over a year now. Um, I take it with me everywhere. It's like an everyday carry camera. Like literally I carry it every day with me because I just don't know when I'm going to need a camera and what shots that I want. So I just take it with me every day um, because I absolutely love it that much because you know, it's just like your, your credit card. You don't leave home without it. I don't leave home without my Insta360 X3. It's my favorite action camera to use. I absolutely love it. If you want to pick yourself up one, uh, there'll be a link below. Uh, there might even be a special on at the moment uh, that you can save yourself some money on and you'll get a free gift with my link as well. It is the affiliated link. So I do get a kickback and thank you. I do appreciate that. Everything else that I use, I will leave links below as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos, especially I've got a few coming up on the Insta360 X3, some more tutorials and some amazing mounts that I have been testing out that you don't want to miss out on. And until next time, guys, I'm Colin from O'Colin, out. Cool.